Welcome to Club Academia, where curiosity meets knowledge. In this video, we're going to break down some of the fundamental building blocks of every electronic device, the components. From tiny resistors, capacitors, transistors to powerful microchips, we'll explore how these little guys work together to create the tech we love. Whether you're an electronics enthusiast or just curious about how things work, you're in the right place. Let's dive into one of the most important components in electronics, the transistor. A transistor is a semiconductor device that can amplify or switch electronic signals. Imagine it as a tiny gate that controls the flow of electrical current. It's a fundamental building block of modern electronics. Transistors are made from semiconductor materials like silicon, which can conduct electricity under certain conditions. This property allows them to serve as switches or amplifiers in circuits. In a circuit, a transistor is represented by a symbol that consists of a circle with three lines that go inside it. The three lines represent the three terminals of the transistor, which are labeled as the collector C, base B, and emitter E. The direction of the arrow on the emitter indicates whether the transistor is an NPN or PNP type. NPN, the arrow points out, indicating that the current flows from the collector through the base into the emitter. A mnemonic to remember this is NPN, not pointing in. PNP, the arrow points in. There are several types of transistors, but the two main categories are bipolar junction transistors, BJTs, and field effect transistors, FETs. BJTs have three layers of semiconductor material and come in two types, NPN and PNP. NPN stands for negative positive negative, and PNP stands for positive negative positive. They're commonly used for amplification. FETs control current using an electric field and are more efficient. The most common type is the MOSFET, widely used in digital circuits. MOSFET stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. We will discuss more about MOSFET in a separate video. Now, let's talk about the three wires, or terminals, of a transistor, the collector, base, and emitter. The collector is where the main current flows in and out of the transistor. It gathers current from the power supply. The collector is the terminal that collects the current flowing through the transistor. It's where the majority of current enters the device. The base is the middle terminal that controls the transistor's operation. A small current applied to the base allows a larger current to flow from the collector to the emitter. The emitter is where current exits the transistor. It sends the controlled current out to the rest of the circuit. Together, these three parts work as a switch or amplifier. When a small current flows into the base, it allows a larger current to flow from the collector to the emitter. This is how transistors can amplify signals. Transistors are everywhere. They are used in everything from smartphones and computers to televisions and appliances. Basically, if it runs on electricity, there's a good chance it has transistors inside. Let's look at how these components are used in real-world applications. Example 1, Amplifier Circuit. In an audio amplifier, the bass receives the audio signal. The small audio current applied to the bass allows a larger current from the collector to flow to the emitter, amplifying the sound. Example 2, Switching Circuit. In a switching application like turning on an LED, when you apply a small voltage to the bass, it allows current to flow from the collector to the emitter, powering the LED. Remove the bass voltage, and the LED turns off. Example 3, Signal Modulation. In communication devices, transistors modulate signals. The base controls the signal strength, allowing different frequencies to be amplified or switched on and off, enabling effective communication. Now, let's talk numbers. A high-end CPU can have around 10 billion transistors, while high-end GPUs can reach an astonishing 20 billion or more. The highest transistor count in a consumer microprocessor as of June 2023 is 134 billion transistors in Apple's ARM-based dual-die M2 Ultra. That's an incredible amount of tiny switches working together to process data. Now, here are seven fascinating facts about transistors that you might not know. 1. First transistor. The first transistor was created in 1947 by John Bardeen, Walter Bertain, and William Shockley at Bell Labs. 2. Miniaturization. Transistors have shrunk dramatically over the years. The first transistors were the size of a finger, while modern transistors can be smaller than a nanometer. 3. Transistor count. 
The record for the most transistors on a single chip was set by NVIDIA's B100 Accelerator, which has 208 billion MOSFETs as of 2024. This number increases every year. 4. Heat Generation Transistors generate heat when they switch on and off, which is why cooling systems are critical in computers. 5. Quantum Computing Transistors are being adapted for quantum computing, paving the way for unprecedented processing power. 6. Analog against digital. Transistors can function in both analog and digital applications, making them incredibly versatile. 7. Billions of transistors. In 2021, the semiconductor industry shipped approximately 1 trillion transistors every day. So, there you have it. Transistors are the unsung heroes of modern technology, powering everything from your smartphone to your gaming console. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Club Academia for more enlightening content, and drop your questions in the comments below. Keep questioning, keep learning and stay curious. Until next time.